welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today we'll be looking at motion paths in PowerPoint. What motion paths are for is moving an object from point A to point B. There are several patterns that you can choose from, everything from as simple as a straight line to your own custom setup. What we have in the background here are a few slides from one of our templates. We have a blank slide for slide number two, and this is the slide we'll actually be working in. We'll be using this slide to show how a police officer chases a thief. We'll title it Chasing the Money, and now it's time to move on to our actual items. Let's go ahead and go to our Presenter Media tab and click on Search. This opens up our Presenter Media add-in on the far right-hand pane. This is specific for Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 and 2010. First, we'll pull up our thief animation. This is one of our more recent creations, so it's right on our animations pane. We'll be downloading him with a clear background, and notice that he has his money bags. The next thing that we'll be inserting will be a police officer. Let's go ahead and type in the word police, and instead of using all media, let's narrow it down just to the animations. Click on search, and here we have him. Notice that the officer is running the opposite direction from our thief in this case. I'm going to go ahead and close out our pane for now. And I'll show you how these two images end up working together. Notice how they're running in opposite directions, and they're both running as if they're standing in place. What we'll be doing is having both of them run in the same direction, and have the officer gradually catching up to the thief. The first step is to take the officer and flip them around. Now this is possible because I downloaded this as a GIF or GIF image. Go ahead and click on Picture Tools, Format, and then the Rotation option. At the very bottom you have the option to flip it horizontally. This will enable the picture to still play normally, except it will be going the opposite direction. We'll start by having both of the images off the screen and now we'll be applying their motion paths. To apply your motion path, click on the Animations tab in the very top portion of your screen in PowerPoint. Next, click on Add Animation. At the very bottom, you'll notice Motion Paths. Now these start out as lines, however you can create arcs, turns, shapes, and loops. In our case, we'll be using a line, and the reason we're not seeing anything right now is it automatically tries to preview it. Please note, anything that you preview while you're inserting it will not appear as long as it's not actually on the slide. Click on your motion path, locate the red arrow at the bottom, click on it, and move it so it's in a horizontal position instead of a vertical. We're going to have our thief run off the screen, so we're going to need this to go a little bit past the edge of the screen, otherwise he'll just stop on the edge and you'll continue seeing him run. Next up, let's do the same thing for our officer. Add animation, lines, for the motion path. Click on the red arrow, and drag it all the way to the right. Now if you preview, you'll notice these two images run across, except there's a significant delay between them. That's because the police officer is told to start after our criminal. So let's go ahead and click on the Animation pane. This is located under your Animation tab in the ribbon on the right hand side. Notice we have our two pictures. We want the first one to start automatically with the previous. And we also want the second picture, which is our police officer, to start with the first. We'll give the police officer a bit of a delay. And we'll slow down both of our characters. The police officer to 5 seconds. And our thief down to 7. Now when we play, you'll notice that the, the thief is already going and the police officer runs past him. Obviously the goal is for the police officer to chase the thief, not for him to pass him. So let's go ahead and change our timing a little bit to make this more appropriate. Let's slow the officer down to 6 seconds and we'll give him a little bit more of a delay. Now the officer will be starting one second after the thief. 
and notice how he's getting to him right at the very end of the slide. This has been a brief tutorial on working with motion paths here at Presenter Media. Thanks for watching and we'll have our next tutorial coming up for you shortly. Thank you.